So today we're going to be passing HTML. The HTML we're going to be passing today is this file. It's a test file I've made. It's a virtual tax office and it has a name, phone number, birthday, email, and employment, a vehicle, and a bank. And our task today is to extract this information out. If we just view the page source, you can see that the HTML file is it is a table. So the data that we are interested in is pretty much the data that is in the table and the rest we don't really care about so let's get going so the first thing we want to do is to import some dependencies the first dependency I want to import is FS because we're working with the file system the next is Cheerio and then plug in for Cheerio which is called Cheerio dash table parser the next thing we want to do is to get all of the files in the customer folder and I do that by doing an FS read directory synchronous you could have done this asynchronous as well so that will get us an array of all of the files in the customer folder and in the customer folder we have all these HTML files which I showed earlier the next thing is that we're just gonna make an array of customers these are the past customers and uh, we're going to be using that later to either work with them or to save them. Today we're just going to be saving them out to a JSON file, but you could have added them to a database or really done whatever you wanted to do with these past customers. The next thing we want to do is to take all these files and do a for each on them. So we do for each customer in the customer folder. So we'll loop through each file in the customer folder. Next we want to make a temporary customer object which is going to be the object that we are going to be adding to the array later once we have extracted the information. Next we want to take all of the HTML of the current file and extracting all the HTML into this variable here. So this variable will contain all of the HTML of the current file. Then we want to take that HTML and convert it into a Cheerio HTML object so we can work with the HTML in Cheerio. Then we want to run the entire Cheerio HTML object through the Cheerio table parser, which just takes all of the tables and passes them. Then we want to select the table object in the HTML. The table object is here, so it just selects the table in the HTML. And then it runs it through the table parser which comes from the cheerio dash table parser and then we'll get back a table which will be an array of all of the different values because we have two formats the first line here is an if statement checking if it's the if it's one format or another format now the two formats that we have is this format where we have one phone number and it's this other format where we have two phone numbers because this format obviously has to have offset because it has it has one more value than all of the other formats. So this is just checking the value in the table. So the way the table parser works is that the zero position is all of the names, so the keys, and the one is all of the values, and then we just take the second value, so the second value, would be this value, this would be the first, it would be the second. And we're just checking if that equals a phone number. So because it starts from zero, so really it would be the this one. So we are checking if this value is a phone number and if it, if it is, then we know this is format two where there's phone, two phone numbers. And if it is phone number one, then it would be a birthday. And then it's not gonna be a phone number and then it's gonna be format one. So that's just what we're checking here using regex. The next line we want to do is we want to extract all of that information out of the array and put it into the customer object, so this object. So we're taking the second array, which is remember all of the data, and the first is all of the, the names of all of those fields, and the second one is the actual values. And then we just take the first one, the first value of the table is the name. It would be the name in both formats. The phone number, we then make a new array and then we take the first and the second. So the first and the second would be these two. And then the birthday is just uh, number three, so this one. And then we just continue on until we have extracted all of the information. Now for the second format, it's obviously a bit different because we only have one phone number. And that means that this in format one would be the phone number, but in format two, it is actually the birthday. 
and you can see in format one the birthday so it's one two and three that is the birthday one two three that is now the phone number okay and then we just continue down and extracting the values the same way and you can see this ends off on seven and this actually only ends on six there might be other ways of looking at these two formats, but this is just the way I chose to do it. The next thing is we just want to take that customer object and add it on to the customer array up here. So we take this customer object, which has now all of the data in it, and add it to the customer array. The next thing we want to do is just saving out that customer's object to a JSON file. So we just take the entire customer's array and save it out to a JSON file called customers.json. Let's run this code. And you can see that we get this customers. And if we just format it, you can see that we get the name, the two phone numbers, the birthday, the vehicle, the bank. And if there's only one phone number, we get only the one phone number and the birthday, the email address, and so on and so on. So that was parsing HTML in Node. I hope you learned something and I hope you can take these concepts. I know I went over it pretty fast, but I hope you can take these concepts and apply it in your own program. The data will be looking different and the way you are getting the data will also be different, but the process of extracting the information would be very similar. So I hope you learned something and see you in the next one. Bye.